So hello, welcome. Uh, as you know, I am Hafiz Tayyab Ahmad, and you can call me Tayyab. So over here, we are discussing something that's really relevant to you. So over here, here we go. My name is Hafiz Tayyab Ahmad. I'm a chemical engineer. So today, I want to share a lot of things with you. Be with me. So let's do it. My logo is learn together. That's is just like a fantastic thing. Just move towards. Uh, in this session, we will learn about PVC thermal stability, how we can improve this stability, and uh, what is the effect of metal steroid, and as well as properties of PVC uh, how, when we are adding different kind of uh, metal steroid in, in it. So, uh, what would be the what the output and how things are changing in the PVC. So, we also discuss about the calcium salts and as well as the barium soil, what would be the effects of that. So, let's move together. Here we are. Thermal stability of PVC chloride. So many people ask that what, what, what is the reason why we need that thermal stability. Uh, so I will tell you what is the reason that. First of all, metal steroids and uh, metal st metal stabilizers that we are using in PVC. Carbon has a tendency to form a four bond. So because carbon, uh, the outermost shell of the carbon contains four bonds. So carbon need four bonds to stabilize themselves according to the octet rule. So if carbon carbon make three bonds, which is called ethane and one bond is just like a hydrogen so right now the carbon is just stable this is just like a ethane and when we are adding HCl into ethane so over here you can see one hydrogen is just attached to this carbon atom and one chlorine is attached to another carbon atom I can show you over here you can feed okay carbon is hydrogen is attached over here and chlorine is attached over here and this uh, the bond the triple bond would be break so you can easily understand what is uh, going on Next move on. So one chlorine and carbon. This is just like ethene, but vinyl chloride. Ethene, double bond ethene, vinyl, vinyl chloride. And uh, and over here you can see also carbon has a four bond, two hydrogen, one hydrogen over here, the right one carbon, and that's like chloride. So this is a double bond. When it breaks this double bond, it's required a bond. The so carbon bond, this bond, and this is just like a bond. This is just like a pole chain is long chain one more one to another and another to another so it's just like a long chain attaching together one another and to form a long bond so this is just like a long chain which we also call the k value of polyvinyl chloride sometimes we are using a k value so this is just like a mean of k value when one polymer is added one monomer is added to another so k value determines that the average number of uh, monomers attached together so let's move on over here uh, this is just like some points what uh, PVC has some processing difficulties. First of all, PVC polyvinyl chloride break down its monomer chain and it decompose because when we are heating PVC polyvinyl chloride is just like a polymer. When we are heating, it decrease it, it just like break down its chain. When it decrease break down chain before processing temperature, so it's not a good. If we so, what would be the uh, disadvantage when it's break down the chains you can see over here i will tell you thermal degradation of pvc is a result of dehydrochlorination pvc so as a dehydrochlorination chlorine is just removed in the process so which is also dangerous for us and uh, the most important thing is that when we are processing pvc when uh, the chain is just like breakdown the color of the pvc is just it just become yellowish reddish sometimes brown and some blackish spores are maybe occur because of this just like a breakdown of uh, uh, long straight chain uh, which is not a good good sign sometimes the PVC one one layer one monomer long chain of PVC is just like break the linear linear chain and move, uh, make a cross link so which is also a negative prospect of PVC processing and uh, when we are pro uh, when we are making a cross linking chain there are some other effects which we will discuss and the me mechanical property also break down during this process so and sometimes the electrical properties so these are the all things that electrical property and rheological ability also damage when this process happen so and mass lo loose and so these are the things you can see it over here it's just like a vinyl chloride when it's form a monomer so it's just break down a dub double bond between carbon carbon which is one sigma another one is pi bond so it's just only make a sigma bond which is more stronger than sigma uh, pi, pi bond over here when these kind of things happen you can see the structure and stability also damage and you can see the polymer pipes are degrade easily they are, they are not long lasting and so stabilizer what what is the process of stabilizer and how do you can see linear chain polymer breakdown so linear i told you linear chain is just like a polymer monomers at one monomer attached one monomers attached to another one and another one to attach to another one but they cross link start cross linking together i can a little bit demonstrate you let's suppose this is just like a one monomer one monomer one monomer these are the monomer chain 
but these are the monomer chains joining together and a whole big chain but when they are just making branches and cross linking this is just like a branch chain which is which is not desired so we should not desire this one this one is not desired and the most important negative prospect of uh, uh, of PVC is just like hydrochloric acid just may be produced during this process when hydrochloric acid will uh, which is called SCL when uh, we are added at CL in the time to produce polyvinyl chloride but right now this right now this SCL will be removed from uh, metal stabilizer this is also a negative prospect or right, you can see over here uh, this is the structure of PVC and we use in uh, our processing so there are different kind of PVC stabilizer and uh, we are just uh, noting some of them are over here PVC stabilizer are lead salt stabilizer organic tin stabilizer soap salt stabilizer zinc soap anti moisture agents and lubricants in the process dispersion agents ions and pigments so these are the all and mixed metal salt which is good for weather and physical properties you can see and these there are some names calcium zinc calcium barium zinc barium zinc and calcium zinc for stabilizing ability and calcium zinc somehow long term calcium zinc has uh, some disadvantage for long term long term they are not working uh, side by side they have some problems which we uh, will discuss in a new slides so co-stabilizer there are some co-stabilizer we are using for lubrication improving the stability with the metal stabilizer just like a uh, soybean oil epoxide soybean oil which is a good stabilizer we add them and the other one is just like a fire tendon fire retardant uh, ammonium phosphate ammonium phosphate is one of one of the stabilizer uh, we are using for fire tendon uh, retired uh, retardant the fire retardants is used for making wires and other stuff there are some others but these are just like most common and you can see over here next move on pvc processing chemicals so these are the chemicals you can see that over here we are adding during the processing of pvc fillers some fillers are also added in the pvc uh, which is also used to cause reduction and some of them are plasticizers plasticizer which is helpful for making for making for enhancing the flexibility co stabilizer which is also act as a stabilizer and help us to maintain the polymer for longer duration and as well as anti-fire agents which is also to i told you ammonium sulfate and some other oils pigments you can see they over here is just like a black white color we are adding different kind of pigment according to the product uh, pro, uh, according to our desired products and uh, according to our uh, our requirement so calcium barium zinc salt enhance the thermal calcium and barium just like enhance the thermal stability barium sal salt is more stable than calcium so keep in mind barium salt is just like more stable barium salt is a long term stable long term stable it's enhanced the stability it's just long time stable zinc does not enhance the thermal stability people maybe think that the zinc salt is just enhanced the thermal stability no it's not it's only helpful for make a, for for just lubrication Calcium, barium, zinc salt enhance the thermal stability long term. So these are the all product we are using for long term thermal stability. So over here, you can see uh, calcium, barium, zinc salt is just look like this. It's the flakes form. So drawbacks, what are the drawbacks of so major drawbacks of zinc salt? Uh, so zinc salt enhance the degradation of PVC extract with the chlorine and form a zinc chloride. So sometimes, you know, PVC and polyvinyl chloride, there is a zinc, uh, there is a chloride in it. So what uh, uh, zinc is just mixing to the chlorine and just make a zinc chloride which is uh, which is not a good product because the process is just like removing and you uh, zinc chloride is also degrade the chain because it's also act as a catalyst and it removes the chain of polyvinyl chloride and it's just uh, it just create it's a good lubrication zinc salts are good but sometimes it's just it's just degrade the processing and you can see there are different kind of pigments we are adding to make the polymer and this this is just like a product quality so what what would the result that I am just adding over here? So you can see that mix is better than a single salt. This is just like a final result. I am telling to you, zinc soap does not enhance. The, zinc is not enhancing the thermal stability. Barium soap better than a calcium soap. Barium zinc soap enhances the thermal stability. So, so this this is just like a best one, and you you should add mixed metal salt, and uh, that's really good. So be here with me. Keep follow watching us, and if you if you want to ask some any if you want to ask any question, you can comment, like, and share, and never forget about to subscribe my channel. So it would be helpful for you to learn related to the poly polymer and as well as other industry because I'm a chemical engineer. I have a lot of experience. So keep in touch with me. You can follow me on Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, YouTube. So thank you for coming over here. It's really nice talking to you guys. So.